Uncle, good afternoon. Oh, Lillian, you are back, huh? Yes, Uncle. Mm. How was the fellowship? It was great. <laughs> the first time I asked of you. Is that so? Mm. How is he? It's fine. Mm. Um, Uncle, look at those flowers. You like them? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. For you. Lillian, I'm always very happy seeing you, a very young girl. So much appreciating the wonderful works of nature as against flashy dresses and shining jewels. I wish that your father, Silas, had been alive to see what a modest daughter he's got. This one is unique. And it smells good too. I pray your love for nature will continuously remind you of the lily of the valley and the rose of Sharon. Keep them in the city. Mom. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The pastor said I should tell you to see him before the weekend. Is anything wrong? I don't know. Okay. I'll see you. Okay. Come on, come. Yeah. Lily, check my pot, eh? Good afternoon, Pastor. Ah, Sister Chino. Good afternoon. How are you? Fine, sir. Did you sent for me, sir? Yes, 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 I sent for you. I told Lillian to ask you to please see me because um, I received a message from the Lord for you. What is it, Pastor? Um, I was in a dream. And in that dream, I saw you running and shouting in an evil forest. You were being pursued by an extraordinary vulture. It caught up with you and came down. And as soon as it came down, it morphed into an old woman carrying a smoking pot and a knife. With that knife, she tried to kill you. Then I woke up. I immediately went into prayers. And in the course of that prayer, the Lord told me to tell you that you and your daughter should go immediately into fasting and prayers for seven days to avert the evil plot of the enemy against your family. This message is very, very important and you should go straight into it. Pastor, thank you. Go straight into fasting and prayers and nothing will happen to you. commanded us to do a seven-day fasting and prayer. Hmm. So, Mom, where are we starting from? Let's start tomorrow. Lydia, I, I don't feel too well. Maybe the day of 
But you know, this is a message from the Lord. Yeah. I know the Lord. It has to be completed without delay, mommy. The day after tomorrow. Mm. I met her in the church last year. Oh, Dima, how are you? Fine. Good afternoon, Ma. Thank you, my dear. How are you? Fine. Nice bouquet of flowers. Mm -hmm. Do you like them? Mm -hmm. Then you can have it. Oh, thank you. My dear, have this for your flowers. <laughs> no, Ma. There's no problem. Take it. Dima is my friend. Oh, how sweet. Thank you. Thank you, um, tomorrow is my birthday. I'm expecting you at the palace. I'll try to come. Mm -mm. Tell me you'll come. Okay. Yes, I'll come. Good girl. So bye I'll bye see bye. you tomorrow, right? I'll be there. Okay, bye-bye. Bye, my dear. to shoot at everybody. That's strange. It requires serious prayers. Mom, that must be what the Lord revealed to the pastor also, which made him ask us to fast and pray. Then we will start to We've been doing this thing for the past two hours. Okay. Going to spend all day here. I'm expecting. Oh, wait. It's her birthday, and she really needs to look very beautiful. She's already beautiful. She can't improve on this. I don't know Daddy, why. Daddy, I can. All right. Ojendo, you go to Toby as a right. That's exactly what I do that I'm expecting some visitors. Stand up, please. Look, stop this nonsense. Stand up. Yes. 
so I'm happy. Oh, I'm glad you could. Yeah. Okay. yeah, happy birthday to you and many more years ahead. Thank you. But you should have waited till it's time to present mm -hmm. it. No, I wanted to do it privately. Okay, okay. It's okay. It's okay. Thank you. Thank you, my dear. My last birthday dress and the shoes. I agree with you. Oh, you can. Madam, please get Chidima's last birthday dress and the shoes. Her last birthday dress and shoes. Yeah. Yes, and please keep this for me. Take care of them. This dress belongs to me by right. This devil called Lillian is now a threat to Dima's love for me. I can't just fold my hands and watch her. Thank you, but I wonder what's keeping her. I don't know. Let me find out. Okay. What's the delay for? Oh, princess. I was wondering if you want to give away such a beautiful and new dress to someone. Let me have it. Get the shoes. Aha. There you are. So, okay. I hope the shoes will fit. Well. Please help call Lillian, please. Hmm? Call Lillian. Bring her here quickly. Mm. Huh? I still remember how you looked in this dress. <laughs> <laughs> yes, very nice there, but I think this is better, better right it's now. Better, yes. <laughs> time to do it. She's calling. Lillian. Um, I want you to have this. And this too. It's talking of your flowers. Dima. With your kind gesture. Mommy. I hope you like it. Yes, all those for me. You like them? Beautiful. <laughs> like it. Mm, this must be expensive. No, mm, but you're worth it. Thank you, you very much. Every bit of it. Thank you. I want to thank you very much for coming. Okay. It's a beautiful dress. You're worth it. You're worth every inch of it. You're worth every bit of it. Um, could you help me get um, a nylon bag so she could put this thing in? Huh? Get a paper bag so she could put this in. Okay. Is she trying to take something you before you leave? Yes.
cash from this. I'm rich. <laughs> search. symbol of authority in this family. I got it from my father. My father in turn inherited it from his own father. Now if it is not found, it means that that tradition has been broken. And that means my lineage is going to be interfered with and I will not take that from anybody. Now listen to me. Who took that bracelet? It's Lilian. So it's Lilian that took it. It's Lilian. I saw her put something into her dress. What? Yes. You saw her and who you didn't Lillian? do anything. Who is Lillian? She is Dimma's little friend who left an hour ago. What's going on here? Daddy, what's this I'm hearing? What's going on? The royal bracelet is missing. And who came here says your friend took it. Lillian? What she said. Lillian. Are you out of your mind? Why are you accusing her and you're not saying you're falsely? Wait! I don't have any reason to accuse her. It's not a false accusation. I, I saw her after we went upstairs. I, I, I saw are her you come sure back inside. This, are you sure of what you're saying? I don't have any reason I to lie I hope you now. know the implication if, if, if this accusation is false. Why? Honestly, I saw her. All right, cut out all this nonsense. Guards, go yeah. to her place and bring her here. Okay. Are you sure of this? Please tell me. Are you sure? Daddy, please. Daddy, please. Please let me go there myself. I'm sure if she if she has it, she will own them. I'm sure you. Dad, we do it. I know what I am doing to Lillian is not good, but this is the only way I can pay her back for standing in my way. Mommy, I did not 
request for it. She gave it to me as a gesture of love. I know. <coughs> but won't this trigger up vanity in you? Won't this reduce your moral standards and humility? Mm. You're hurting me. I'm sorry. Even, even a dress with golden beads and shoes with diamonds on their soles cannot change me. But if you think otherwise, you can have it. No, no, no. I'm with it whatever you want. No, Lily, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. She saw you take it. I know you said you didn't. I'm too confused. <laughs> but what can I do to you? My parents believed her. Don't cry, don't cry. Don't cry, I, I believe you. I believe you. Oh, yeah. 
She's not to explain all this when we get to the station. But the man, we even have the time to spend time to these things. Let's go. Mommy, please. Come on, please. Move, move, move. Mommy, please. Move, move, move. 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 Move, Husband, we're very good friends. Oh, that snatched him away from me. What is Chief, it? 
What is it? Go straight to the point. Chief, you're a respected member of the Igwe's cabinet. So please help me talk to the Igwe. My daughter Lily is innocent of all the allegations leveled up against her. If she is innocent, then why bother? Huh? Time will vindicate the just. I know. But she has been there for too long. Um, but don't worry. I'll, I'll do something about it. But um, you have been very unfair to me. Oh. <laughs> Since my friend Silas is no more, naturally, I am to take care of you. But you have been keeping your distance. Huh? You are a very pretty young lady. And um, you just can stay on and on and just rot away, just like that. You say, baby, you need somebody to keep you warm. And that person is no other person than me. <laughs> Chip, can't you see I'm in mourning? After seven months. Yeah, you want to be in mourning till eternity? Is that what you say to me? And I thought he was your friend. Go. Go on. Go on to him. Go and free her. Huh? Evil woman. After all, you killed your husband. You said you are a Christian. Why not pray enough? Prayers could have saved him. But uh, now you are pretending uh, to mourn for him. Nonsense. Forcing me to dance with them in an evil forest. Oh, Jesus. Owls. Drummers. Dancers. Evil forest. God forbid. That must be a terrible dream. Yes, a terrible dream. Owls are bad of them. It's a You should be pleading the blood of Jesus. What is so bad I've been begging you to give your life completely to God, but you won't listen to me. Eh? No, I've been not been idle. I have not been idle. I have been doing what I'm supposed to do as a man looking after his own. I've asked you to take job activities more seriously. But you won't. Even the ongoing fasting and praying now, you are not part of it. Must I be fasting every day? Every little thing fast, every little thing fast. Ah. But the Bible says we should fast. The Bible says we should pray without season. That's the only weapon with which you overcome the devil. Ah. Oh, oh, oh. Go to bed.
evil forest again. My husband dreamt about thousand bats. A few days later, he died. His father dreamt about bats and thousand and evil forest and died. I dreamt about bats and out. And now my daughter is in tears. God. God. I should never wait. The pastor started the first thing I prayed. God forgive me. Let me wait for him. Ah. Why not come and sit down? Eh? I hope there is no problem. All is well. But you're not looking bright now. <coughs> eh? Uncle Walter. Ah, Chuma. Okay. Okay. You're welcome. Ah, Chuma, come on, sit down here. Thank you, Uncle. You want to see them? Okay. You're welcome. Uncle, I have come to you because I know you are very close to the eagle. Lily is innocent of the crime. Yet she's languishing in the police cell. Please, Uncle, help me talk to the eagle. She has not eaten for some days now, and I'm afraid. Um, Chinwe, you are my niece. But I don't want to be involved in this matter. Your daughter is a thief. And she should return the royal bracelet she stole. And please, don't come to my house again. I don't want anything that will strain the cordial relationship existing between me and the royal family. Yeah. Why are you talking to her like that now? Hmm? You have known her for a very long time. You and I know she's not of a person. Uh, shut up, woman. Do you want to make me an accomplice in the crime? Or do you need a pundit to tell you the serious implications? Listen to me now. This is not the end of your daughter's life. If she's innocent of this allegation, God will surely vindicate her. Don't cry again. Eh? Keep praying. Because prayer is the only weapon needed in this case now. Down there and watch it. 
Why did you leave us alone? Tell us why did you leave me alone in this wicked world? All your friends have abandoned us. Now they accuse Lily of being a thief. Stop coming to this grave to weep. Hmm? Huh? No amount of weeping will bring Silas back to life. Okay, I know what to do. I will wall off this grave. Let me say you come here again to weep. Uh, have you been able to speak to anybody concerning this? That was what happened. I came to the house and they told me you went for a crusade. Yes, I was away for three weeks. Attending a crusade we organized for Kuma people on Adamawa Highlands. Were you able to observe the fasting and prayers as ordered by the Lord? Why? <laughs> by the time I got the message, I was too able to start that what I was writing this whole thing happened. <laughs> oh sister Chimu, that was a great mistake. <laughs> anyway, our God is a very kind God. A very merciful God. When is Lily and I telling him for to see you there in this matter. In fact, we should see him straight away. No? Let us pray. Hey, I'll come. Thank you. Hey, hey, hey. Hey. Where do you think you're going? To the young lady. Yes. I am Papa Chris Moravichi. The general overseer of the new church. If you like, be the general overseer of the church of Nazareth, that does not give you the impetus to walk into the palace like that. What's going on? What is it? Sorry, this is uh, Lillian's mother. I know. We would like to see the Highness and his wife concerning the problem at hand. Oh, so you have brought the business. Let me have it. No, no, not at all. We just want an audience with you. Woman, has His Highness not told you not to come to this palace and disturb his peace again? Has he not told you? I just want... Don't keep quiet! Anyway, His Royal Highness is not in the palace right now. He has gone to the city to see the government, so you can leave. Please, can you see his wife and uh, uh, Mr. Chidema? None of them is around. They have all gone out. You can see them in the court. Um, but... Mr. Pastor of Jerusalem, or whatever your name is. I have to... Young lady. Young lady. Get out of here. Get out. Okay, 
Who was that we were talking about? Uh, it's the um, the food stops of life. Where is she? She has gone. I told her to come and collect her money tomorrow. to have this case tried in court. And uh, I've come to ask you whether what I heard was true or not. Mm, what you heard is true. Um, this case has generated plenty of concern. It has aroused plenty of interest. People from different walks of life um, have been raising eyebrows over the issue. And um, the Commissioner of Police has personally notified me of his intention to prosecute, because according to him, he has enough grounds for prosecution. So um, if you ask me if I am thinking along that line, I'm afraid the answer is yes. I am. Mm. I see. Agree. You are perfectly right. And it's true. But, uh, as an experienced lawyer and uh, judge, I've realized that the the, the case lacks merit. There's nothing incriminating in it at all. You see, it's only your house help swear against the poor girl. Which is nothing. <laughs> Igby, I'll, I'll suggest that uh, we withdraw the case. Well, it it is not as if I am obsessed with uh, wanting the case prosecuted, not. What I am bothered about is the, the direct traditional consequence of this development. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. As you know, the royal bracelet yes. is the yes. symbol yes. of yes. authority. Mm -hmm. It's been handed over from generation to generation. generation. Yeah. And uh, for it to be lost now, uh, what it portends for this lineage is very tragic. First of all, it, it truncates the line and uh, the wrath of the ancestors is incurred, which is something we always try to avoid. If only um, I knew how to handle this matter and give me enough satisfaction, I would have done my best. I think uh, I would even prefer it as an option. Yes, yes, sir. Why? Let's take it along this line. That seems it has something to do with tradition. Why don't we withdraw it and have Igwe sit in council? You know, I had this case tried. I think it will be proper. This is what I got. Hmm. Hmm.
And I go say my give you this letter. Thank you. Dear madam, since the verdict will be given tomorrow on your daughter's case, I advise that she agrees that she took the bracelet but could not trace where she misplaced it. If she agrees, I, the Igwe, will plead on her behalf and she will be set free. I don't want her to rot in cell. Think about it. This letter is from the royal palace. God, you are a God of justice. Judge, justly. Why are you better than this one? Why are you better than Refusing to eat is making matters worse. Mom, I've told you to stop bothering yourself about food. Lily, you have to eat. About what the Igwe said. I think you should just accept it. Mom, if anybody should doubt me, should it be you? I do doubt you, Lily. I do doubt you. It's just that these rich, rich people might just forget about you here. Yeah. What will happen to me? I can't stand seeing you stay here forever. Mom, wouldn't you mind dying here? You go for a bit. You will not die, Lily. What will happen to me? Yeah, Mom. Eh? I said what I didn't do, Mom. Oh, Lily. Yes. <laughs> what do you want me to do? If you die, what will happen to me? Lily, hmm? they are taking you to court. Igwe, if Mkem said that she saw her take the bracelet, but that is enough proof. Igwe, what if Mkem is lying? Ochendo, what baffles me is that the young people of nowadays hardly keep their hands off anything. Your Highness. I want us to remember that whatever decision we take here today will affect the life of a young girl and a widowed mother. Besides, you can, the gods will be angry with us if we judge wrongly. Are we saying that uh, the symbol of authority should remain with a young girl and a widow? I am saying, I said the mother should be banished along with her daughter. Can I say something? Mm -hmm. Igwe, I am not in support. I thank all of you. I have heard all of you. The royal bracelet, which is the symbol of authority in this kingdom, has been stolen. Nkem said she saw Lillian steal that bracelet. And Nkem is not in the habit of lying. On the strength of that statement, I hereby banish Lillian from this kingdom. <laughs> Hey, hey, hey! 
Her Majesty said I should give you back your wicked flower that you brought, that it is due. You can. What will be the judge of our own? Don't worry, Lily. This is just a trial from the Lord. He will make a way where there seems to be no way. His wonders he will surely perform. <laughs> Chukuma unyaka ya diucha. Kuma pa. You are still following them. You are still following them. Umu madu je megi do we ha unyaka ya kuto. Chukuma unyaka ya kuto. Weep no more. The Lord has not forgotten you. The Lord said in Psalm 23, verse 4, that even when we pass through the valley of the shadows of death, we shall fear no evil, for he is there with us. Have you forgotten? Pull yourself together. The Lord will surely come to your rescue. Now, take this money for your support. I will have sheltered you. But the whole town has been warned not to have anything to do with you. Please don't give up. You must not give up. Pray always. For we fight not against the flesh and blood. But against the principalities and powers. The rulers of this dark world. The evil spirits in the higher regions. Take care. Trust in the Lord always, and victory is yours. God bless you. Given to us, we are grateful, O oh Lord. Jehovah, you will provide for those who do not have. And all the glory and thanksgiving will be yours in the name of Jesus. Amen. <laughs> Mm -hmm. 
angel. Oh, he's gone. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. You are worthy to be praised and adored. Lord, we lift up holy hands. Mother, what is it? A dream. The Lord has promised to vindicate you. But you will continuously pray. You will pray to the Lord always. Thank you, Lord. I stand, I stand in all of you. Love me. 
my house, of course. Don't be afraid. Okay. I can't leave you in the bush. Strongly. Don't be silly. If she is, then who took it? I don't know, Mom. I don't know. But I'm scared. Because ever since this incident, Nkem has been having nightmares. Nkem? Yes. Oh. 
God, God, I do you are in heaven. Without that thing. Don't talk. Don't talk. I wish that so come. Don't talk like that. You'll be all right. My, my daughter, Lilia, was, was accused of unjustly. Verdict was given. And they bind us from the village. Me. A poor widow. That's a thing. Sorry, sorry. Take it easy. You'll be alright. You'll be alright. You'll be okay. Lily. Hey. Don't think I'll survive this. You'll survive. Don't talk like that. Don't talk like that. Lily, what at least, I think, I ask. Give me my Bible. Take this. Don't let it depart from me. Mommy, please. Always walk in the spirit of the Lord. Was a promise vindicate you. Mommy, please. Please, take no, it no, easy. Take it easy. It's okay. It's all right. It's all right. Mother. Mommy, please don't do this to me. Mother, please don't do this to me now. No. Somebody, please help me. Nothing. I heard you scream. No, I was dreaming. Nkem, this is the third time you are waking me up from sleep. Now tell me, what is it? Nothing. I just had a nightmare. Nightmare? Mm -hmm. If you continue this way, I will have to send you out of this room. Flowers are already faded. I want them removed and replaced with fresher ones. Take this pot to the other side. Nkem! This place is unkept. This place is unkept. I want it swept and kept clean. Huh? Quick. after all. You lied! I'm sorry. Your Highness! Your Highness! Be quiet! Thank 
why they are calling me. Oh, you are interrupting me. My friend, it's more than what you Come closer to Oh my God. Daddy, come and see. What is this? I've been saying this. See? I said it. I knew Lilia didn't take this thing. I knew she couldn't have taken it. I'm sorry, it's the devil. You lied to me. Yes, forgive See? me. See? I said it. The devil. You lied to me. <laughs> I could just kill you! made a fool of all of us, she did it. This is amazing. On the testimony of a house help, I banished an innocent girl. I condemned an innocent girl to an uncertain future, to a hopeless existence. Now I realize my error of judgment. How do I make comments? How do I remedy the situation? She said that there must be a time in a man's life. My advice to you, Inge, is that you look for this girl. Look for this girl. Bring her into your home. And treat her like your daughter. That is all I have to say. Thank you. Mm -hmm. There's something I want to discuss with you. Mm -hmm. What is it? I would like to take Chidema to my palace. She will stay with us for one week. I want her and my daughter to get used to each other. That's a very good idea, Nai. Chidema needs a change of environment. After the whole mess. Here she's always having nightmare about Lillian. The one week will be alright for her to overcome the trauma. Well, it's alright. Um, 
I'll talk it over with her if she agrees. I have no objection. I'm sure she will. Up to be Matoli, you know something? I will never forget Lillian in my life. Never. Do you know people do change other people's destiny through the act of wickedness? And Kem was just being wicked. For no just cause. I could not believe my ears when I heard her confession. Huh? I know oh, it's God. saying that destiny can be delayed. In this case, I don't know. I really don't know. But I feel Lillian's destiny has been changed. You should have seen what she went through. You need to have seen it. I just pray God will help us find Lillian and her mother. But most of all, I pray she forgives us. It's okay, then, no. I want you to forget about this. It's hard. We pray that a good God will protect them here that they may come. Please come. Let's stroll out so as to use this additional permission. <laughs> That's my wife. You and my brother have changed. Only shouting and shouting. Stop making noise. I am asking you where is my wig and you are telling me. Hey, hey, hey. Are you? Come here. Where is my wig? I said where is my wig and you're looking at it. Where is my wig? I didn't see any wig, Auntie. What? What kind of question is this? Can't you see we're just coming back from the farm? Huh? You. Where is my wig? Where is my wig? Go and get it wherever you kept it. Do you get me? What has gotten into you? What is wrong with you? As I told you, I didn't see any wig. What? Remember what brought you and your mother here? You liar. You are leaving this house today. No. She's not going anywhere. Mm. Yes. Go and pack your things. No, she's not leaving. She's not going anywhere. Yes, I knew it. I said it. I knew it, you dog. You've been sleeping with her. 
I've been watching you. She won't believe. Yes. All right. Mesh! Come and leave this place. Wait. Leave it. You are not going. She must leave. No. She must. I am the owner of this house. Please leave this house. Problem between you and your wife. Oh. Lilian, you are not going anywhere. Mm -hmm. Uncle, please. I'll go. No. Please go. Kill you if not poison. Oh, yeah. You have to go. <laughs> Take this. This will help you as you go. Go well, eh? Go well. Thank you. Soy la si para ti. You are very naughty. You, me, are you said? Ah, oh, look at that beautiful flower. Oh, this is lovely. This is a hibiscus flower. Do you know it's very medicinal? Mm-hmm. It's lovely. I don't like flowers. Oh. You should. You're a girl. Oh. Why did you drop it? Lilian wouldn't do that. I told you, I don't like flowers.
happened again. You left me alone in this messless world. They have called me a thief again. What do I have to do with a wig? <laughs> oh, Lord. I can hear someone sobbing. Please go and check what is wrong with the person. Maybe we Wait, can help. Wait, it's like a graveyard. The person sobbing might be a bereaved person. Please. No, oh, Dima. No. There's this feeling I'm having now. Let's go there, please. I've never had this kind of feeling before. <laughs> what kind of feeling is that? <laughs> Send your angels to come and comfort me, Lord. Oh, Lord. Can't bear it what anymore. It? Send your angels to come and comfort me, Lord. Like really, really. Yes. What should she do? Tell me your mother is dead. out of heartbreak, rising from the wickedness of Unkem. But I promise you, and from henceforth, Lilia will be my sister. We shall eat from the same plate. We will drink from the same cup and sleep on the same bed. My parents shall be happy and that I have, she will have. Please forgive me. Rest in peace, Mom. Happy I found you, that's all. ago and uh, in fact he's planning to go back soon and uh, ah Igwe he wants to get married before going back 
Yeah. That's what a reasonable young man. I would expect that he probably would have been married to a white woman. Right? <laughs> no, no, no. And who is this lucky girl? Mommy, as you know, my mother is no more. I know. That is why I've come with my daddy to know if you can help me find a good girl mm. from a descent home to marry. Count it down. Thank you. That's <laughs> a very simple assignment for her. Yeah. She knows all the good families. Uh, yes. <laughs> well, she comes from a good home, you know. <laughs> oh, my dear, you're here. Yeah. Good evening. 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 Good I know him, the judge. <laughs> You're welcome. Well, thank you. And he's uh, really the sound. The sound is him. Him? <laughs> so huge? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> the chief of the old block. Yes. Hello. <laughs> 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 Uh, no, go. She'll be coming later. She'll be coming later. What's in? I'm here because of the pathetic story this girl told you. I hope you remember Lydia. In fact, Lillian and her mother came to Denver some months ago. Before they arrived, the woman had heart attack. She later died, leaving Lillian with a couple. Um, it happened that something got missing in the house. And the woman of the house suspected Lillian and finally asked her to leave the house. Lillian had no option except to leave the house. She went to her mother's grave since she had no other place to go. But God Almighty sent Chidemuma and Olivia to the graveyard to rescue her. That's the story. The woman is dead. My daughter. Your sorrows have come to an end. Hmm? From today on, you are a member of this family. You are my daughter. Chidima is your sister. Everything you deserve, whatever you need, you will get. Hmm? All right. Go upstairs and eat something. Hmm? Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Oh, Dad, you're back. Yes. Henry? Yes, Dad. How are you today? Dad, I'm okay. Good. Good. Dad, yes. It's my pleasure to inform you that. I found a wife, and um, I'll be happy for your consent and your blessing. Oh, I'm happy to hear that. <laughs> oh, I'm happy to hear that. And uh, uh, from which of the royal families, 
she comes from. Uh, um, will she make a good wife? Are you sure? I think so, Dad. I love her very much. Ah. Although, I'll not be able to let her know of my intentions. No. She is... <laughs> Lillian. What? <laughs> Lillian? Yes, sir. <laughs> Lillian? Yes, sir. Oh. Lillian? Yes. Oh, congratulations, my son. <laughs> <laughs> you couldn't have made a better choice, I mean. Yes, so. <laughs> oh, 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 Lillian. Yes, sir. Well, although she doesn't come from the royal family, you know, her good character will make up to that. I know. guess so, Dad. Yes. She will be a good wife for you. Mm -hmm. eh? <laughs> oh, I'm happy, I'm happy, I'm happy for you. Uh, talking about marriage, that reminds me of your late mother. Dad, I've told you to forget about her. She's gone forever. <sighs> you see, Dad, you must understand that God giveth and God taketh. So don't worry. Okay, Dad? straight to my point. You see, I've not been able to get you out of my mind since the very first day I saw you. You just stole my heart. I don't know what you think about it or what you feel about me. But... Oh, Harry. It's a sin to talk with people's emotions. But it's not a sin to fall in love. Lily, I love you. I really do love you. Do you love me? Lily. Will you marry me? I talk to me. Please talk to me. If if it's God's if it's God's wish. Talk to me. Will you be my wife and help mate? If mommy and daddy agree. So, Harry, I still have to pray and not from God. Lillian, but I have to go back to the state soon. And I want to marry you and take you along with me. You know how it is. To be so, it's but I, I I need some reassurance. Do, do you love me? Do you really do? Yes. You do? Yes. <clears throat> um I think 
Опять вы пошли домой. Все. Am I supposed to say congratulations? Maybe. Yes, yes, can I help you? No, I, I, I want to see Lillian. Okay, Lillian, okay, come in. Lillian, stop there! Come on, get out of this place before I want you! Get out! Please, please, I just want to see her and reconcile with her and congratulate her for her marriage. Please. Did I hear you say reconcile? Please, get out of here, it's too late. Get out of this place! Okay, um, Please. Take her out of this river, I won't have. Please, okay. Can you allow me to give them this flower or? Come on, to. I oh, said, get oh, out! This kind of your thing, you bring me here to do. Come on, let's go! Come on, let's this place is for me! Mm-hmm. Yes, Lillian. Lillian, talk, I'm with you. I have a humble request to make. Ask for anything in my power, and it shall be granted. Yes. Please, Daddy. Use a prerogative in this year and again. What is such a request, Lillian? No. 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 She must die. She deserves it. Please. I want her released because I can't be happy if she remains in the prison because of me. Please. No. No, no, no. She deserves it. She must die. Please. I can't be happy. I want her released. You're really precious. Sit down. Well, I'll think about it and give the feedback in the weeks. All right? Thank you very much, Dad. Can I go? Oh, yes. Go ahead and call me Henry. Hmm? Yes, Dad. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure. not the lady you are looking for. She committed suicide. She cut her wrist artery with a blade and bled to death. Dear Lillian, I know by the time you get this note, I shall have passed on. 
I came to beg for forgiveness and to congratulate you on your marriage to Henry. But I was not allowed. I am very sorry for all that I did to you. Please forgive me. It's the devil. I decided to end it all because my life became too miserable for me to cope with. Before my sentence, everybody avoids me like a plague. In prison, everybody hates me. Please, Lillian, help me write this epitaph. Those who take the light in working for the devil only find the embers of self-destruction. Afro Bravo TV enjoy various genres of entertainment programming from the comfort of your home through our satellite-delivered channels in your favorite languages, French, English, Swahili, Swahili, Igbo, Hausa, Yoruba, and so on. Afarevo Dubbing Services. With the largest number of dubbing studios in Africa, we can help you dub your videos to major languages in Africa. Swahili, English, French, Yoruba, Hausa, Igbo, Wolof, Zulu, and so on. Afarevo YouTube the largest YouTube partner in Africa with over 500 channels of top African entertainment and millions of eyeballs daily. We help thousands of video creators make money on YouTube. Afarevo, the revolution is on.